to The Real Deal here. I'm here with Andrew Sumner, the uh, director of Titan Entertainment. Uh, I just had a couple questions. We're going to do an interview like we do every year here at New York Comic Con. So, Andrew, if you could, first of all, tell us a little bit about Titan Entertainment, for those who may not know. Yeah, of course, Robert. Um, so, we're uh, Titan Entertainment, uh, four different divisions of the Forbidden Planet retail chain in the UK. Oh, we're Titan Comics and Magazines. We do a whole range of licensed uh, comics, licensed magazines. We do the Star Wars Insider magazine. We do the Star Trek magazine. We do the Walking Dead magazine. We do uh, all the great uh, Doctor Who comics internationally, about five titles a month. Loads of Assassin's Creed comics, loads of great creator own stuff. Yeah, We've just launched our Hard Case Crime comics imprint. Um, that's been a great success here at New York Comic Con. Uh, with guys on board writing it, like Walter Hill, who directed The Warriors. Um, so we've got all that. We've got our books division, where we do things like The Art of Star Trek. We've just uh, published a book with Brian Fuller, the showrunner of Hannibal, um, which is a Hannibal cookbook. It's called Feeding Hannibal. In fact, Brian's right here on the stand signing at the moment, and it has been bedlam for the last, uh, last hour, last 90 minutes. Like, uh, we've just had about a thousand people in this queue. But it's been awesome, awesomely, you know, awesome bedlam. And then uh, we've got the merchandise division, uh, where we produce a massive range of apparel, uh, you know, mugs of stationery and a lot, and our Titans vinyl collectibles, which, Robert, is the conversation you and I often have. That's the product range uh, we've got, yeah. which is now a very, very wide range of very high end, high quality vinyl collectibles um, across a range of licenses. We began with Doctor Who, and we still do a ton of great Doctor Who stuff, but we folded out our licenses over time, and now we've just got a wealth of stuff that we do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what do we have to look forward to over the next year from right, Titan? So, this, for... so we, we, just, we are just about to launch three significant new Titans lines. And uh, that will be our Alien vs Predator line, uh, which is on the water to the US, re to US retail at the moment. We should have that in store in about a month's time. Okay. And um, that's one of the best ranges we've ever done in terms of the complexity of the sculpts that we have. But you know, I know you know this, how good the stuff we do is. I love it. And we're best in class when it comes to detail. Our, our vinyl really is like no one else's in terms of the detail we can bring into a three inch or a four and a half inch piece. And we've launched um, Alien vs Predator. And within that set, it's just an incredible wealth of awesome sculpts of the various aliens in the movie of the various predators in the movie, of the Pred Alien, put all of it in there. We had a massive hit last year with our Ghostbusters Titans, and uh, we've just uh, released Ghostbusters 2. Uh, we repeatedly sold out in Ghostbusters 1, so we brought Ghostbusters 2 in. That's another awesome way. Features all those awesome sculpts we had with the original team, and loads of great, loads of great more monsters and ghosts. And uh, we are repeatedly selling out at the moment of our Cartoon Network wave. Which we spent ages trying to get exactly right. They look great. Um, thank you so Although much. Although I'm disappointed man. you got Finn, but no Jake. But other than uh, yeah. that, it's a fantastic. Jake's coming, uh, brother. Jake awesome. is coming. All right, good. So good. the good news <laughs> about Cartoon Network is it, it really took us. We're very, very good at taking real life people and turning them into vinyl. Taking 2D cartoons that we all loved. I'm a huge Cartoon Network fan. Have been since the beginning. But taking those 2D cartoons and turning them into 3D, man, that was a challenge. You know, that was difficult. But in the end, we got it super right. Uh, the Cartoon Network fantastic. love what we've done. We love we love what we've done, but the fans do as well. We've sold out of that wave three times over. Wow. We've got another another batch that's coming in in about two weeks' time into US retail. But wave two, which will be coming out in about springtime next year, part of that wave will indeed be some of the other adventure character, adventure time characters we didn't see the first time out. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. No, it's awesome, and, uh, and we'll also be uh, going pretty heavy with um, the Over the Garden Wall characters in that wave as well. So, okay. so Wurt and Greg and Beatrice. And by the way, if you've not seen that event show from Cartoon Network, they're going to be rerunning it over uh, Halloween this year. You, you've got to see it. It's 10, I'll have to check 10 it out, yeah. episodes of, of pure brilliance. It's like as if they mashed up uh, Miyazaki with um, pre 1940s Warner Brothers cartoons, you know. Wow. And it's incredible. It's a beautiful, beautiful story with a lot of heart about two brothers, Wurt and Greg, that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And mate, if you've not seen it, you've got to watch it. 
incredible. And say the name again. What is it it's again? So over the garden wall. Okay. It's yeah, fantastic. I'm not familiar with that. They won it. a bunch of Emmys last year. It's a fantastic. Wow. Show. Okay. So we've got that coming, and then we did super well with the first wave of Star Trek that we put out. Um, I just Trek, opened those the great. Sorry to so, interrupt. I'm, no, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased you like them. Yeah. And uh, and so we've just finished uh, the manufacture on Star Trek: The Next Generation. Wow. And we're going to be. Those are going to be in store probably in Q1 next year, around about January, February time. But they look awesome. They look fantastic. Great. In addition to that, like what we had at the show here, we had a bunch of exclusives uh, related to those licenses. So we have a, a four and a half inch Johnny Bravo window box Titan. We've got a four and a half inch Kirk and a four and a half inch Spock that's, that spun out the original series um, three inch Titans. Then we've got a four and a half inch Titan of the next generation Enterprise. Cool. You and know what? I'll, I'll move in. Yeah, right. Yeah, on. Keep talking. Yeah, let's let's start yeah. showing them what we're talking yeah, about this here. This is what we're talking about here. And, uh, and we've also got a four and a half inch Titan of, uh, of the Clara Memorial TARDIS. Um, that's been phenomenally popular. Uh, another, two other exclusives we've got the three inch Titan size are um, the tenth Doctor as a hologram and a Sherlock working wearing his deer stalker. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. Actually, this this cabinet we've done so well with the stuff here and showed this cabinet's looking a bit on the empty side. Cause yeah. We've had to start selling the stuff out the cabinet for the fans. That's great, but there's some of the Ghostbusters and aliens that you yeah, were talking about. We're so pleased with those. Yeah. And again, you know, you'll see some from the pieces, some pieces on the lower level, how good the alien bee pieces actually look, the detail on them. For a three inch vinyl piece, we've got such a shitload of detail on them, it's amazing. <laughs> they, look, they look fantastic. And by the way, the reason why I'm rampantly boasting about this is I'm not talking about my own achievements here, of course. It's our team of sculptors who do this, not me. So yeah. I'm not saying I've done all this amazing <laughs> shit. What I'm saying is my amazing team here are all super busy, I've done this amazing stuff. That's, and that's and they're just the best in class. I love working with these guys, they're awesome. That's cool. Um, other things we've got coming up for next year, over the next three months, Robert, I'll be able to fill you in on some of the great stuff we've got coming for 2017. You've got my email and my, right so let me um, know. We are going to be rolling out some stuff. I'll stop you, you online for. Uh, yeah. I All can't I can wait. say at this moment is time, in time is across both movie licenses and cartoon licenses and gaming licenses. Nice. We've got stuff that people have been badgering us to produce yeah. for like three, four years. So there's a, a, a lot to look forward to in 2017. Yeah. Your, your Bioware sets, the Dragon Age and the Mass Effect sets oh, were thank you, mate. fantastic. They really so. killed for us. Can yeah. you see how busy it is, by the way? Yeah, man? yeah. Here, I'll take, I'll take a shot here. Uh, it, it's, yeah. It's, this is Sunday at New York Comic Con, man. It's yeah. just off the chains, oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's been killing it. We've been killing it. Got the bodyguard here. This, 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 my bodyguard, Daniel. <laughs> he's a good man. Uh, he's the best. Um, um, so, so, yeah. Uh, do you have any, like, do you have any dream franchises that you would like to be able to do? Anything you you pursuing? I don't yeah. know if you could talk about that. No, here's the thing. <laughs> the answer is yes, but um, all I can tell you is I have a number of dream franchises. Yeah, uh -huh. and next year we will be doing all of them. Wow. Yeah. So, that's, and that's then great. I've got I've got. I've got dream franchises, franchises that me, as a dude in his mid fifties who spent his whole <laughs> life loving this kind, of, loving cults, you know, and loving, loving popular culture, would love to do. But we won't do. But I'd love to do them. I'd, I'd love to do the original sixties cast of Mission Impossible. You know. uh, I'd would love be. to do the original nineteen sixties Man from Uncle. Yeah, do you get me? Yeah. I would love to do those shows. The thing is, you know, there's, 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 it's guys like me who buy that stuff, and that's not our primary audience. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do that, you know. I could go on and on. I'd love to do a range. Uh, I'd love to do a range. I'm not going on, anywhere. Yeah, thanks, man. I'd love to do a range based on the old Republic cliffhanger serials uh, directed by William Whitney in the 19 in the 1930s. So stuff like you know Dick Tracy versus Crime Incorporated, stuff like the Daredevils of the Red Circle, all the stuff I used to watch on a Saturday morning when I was growing up in the early 70s. I'd love to do all of that. We will never do it, but I'd love to do it. Yeah, maybe you can do a classic TV collection or right something, on, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We are going to be doing some more overall collections though next year, like we've done with Cartoon Network. Nice. There's other stuff we're going to be working on. That's very cool. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. And um, mate, I just want so to say, Robert, thanks so very much for your support for what we do. Oh, we, no Me, problem. Dan, the whole team, we all really appreciate it, mate. Hey. Massively appreciate it. Thank you, guys. As long as you keep making awesome stuff, I'm happy well, to support well, it's it. Funny, you know, I, was, it's really I was talking to somebody about this earlier on, earlier on today, and you know, our thing isn't being the biggest company out there, and our thing isn't making heavy money. Our thing is doing the things we love at a level of quality.
I say you probably better than anybody else, you know. What we want to, and it's not even it's not a competitive thing, I'm yeah. not a competitive dude. <laughs> Here comes Cartman walking by yeah, you. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, it's very yeah, very yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this happens all the uh, time, so, mate. Yeah. This is a 24 uh, it's thing. Gun. So, but anyway, I'm sorry. It's not yeah, making no a whole worries, bunch mate. of money. No worries, it's, yeah, yeah, no, it's not about making the cash, not making any heavy money. It's about doing the best stuff. And that's not even a competitive sense. It's not us versus anybody else. Because actually, there are other people in our space who do awesome stuff. It's all right, mate. No worries. I think do awesome stuff. I love what they do. But what we want to do, I want to do the stuff that's as good as my vision of it can be. And that's where I know that my team have truly delivered. Is that is what we do, you know, so so we never put anything out until we're super happy with it. Awesome. And that's awesome. our kind of ethos, really. So I just uh, just one or two more questions. How do you decide, so for something like the Cartoon Network, yeah. how do you decide to leave out Jake, or how do you decide, yeah. uh, you know, like I know I got a lot of comments that Tali was missing from the yeah. Mass Effect series. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so generally speaking, the way it works is, by the way, Daniel doing an amazing job with his people. Yeah. What you're not seeing in the shot is, every time somebody gets close to walking across, Dan is like, oh, that, <laughs> just do a detail. Great job, Daniel, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, come on, there we go. Um, so, uh, what happened? What happens is that uh, it's a mixture of, um, if you're doing an overall set, you have to make some tough choices, right? Yeah, yeah. And also, you have to plan for, the, I always plan for success. So uh, when we go into it, we're like, well, this is wave one. You have to preserve what two, three, and four are going to look like. Yeah. You don't want to blow your whole wad on an amazing of wave course. one. And then there's no gas in the tank after that, yeah, right? Yeah. So there are tough decisions. And also, it's a consultative exercise with us and the licensor. So in terms okay. of the Cartoon Network Titans, what happens is that we, we, we have a brilliant relationship with the awesome people at the Cartoon Network. Um, Denise and Jessica and Jason and the team, they are phenomenal, yeah? And, uh, and it's a very much a detailed two-way conversation. And so sometimes things aren't in a particular set because they have a view on when it should appear. Yeah? I understand. Well, that makes sense, you know. Okay. But it, I mean, just, we're very happy with the way the Cartoon Network set has turned out. Oh, I think it's fantastic. And, and, um, and, and the fact that it, is, it keeps on selling as well as it does, you know, the proof of the pudding is in the final product. I'm mixing my metaphors wildly though, mate, but you know what I mean? And, um, and the deal is that we're going to get to do every character everybody wants to see. That's awesome. And it's much better that we plan over, say, a 10-year curve than plan over an, an 11-month curve. Yeah. If that makes sense. I understand. Yeah, every time my nieces and nephews come over and see them on display, they're like, where did you get those? So, oh, awesome. Yeah, they came out fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I, I ask this every year. Battlestar Galactica. I've yeah. seen their. I've seen the uh, the prototypes are out now. Is yeah, that yeah. finally on schedule to, finally to come schedule. out? And in fact, if you uh, uh, we did we did kind of a preview piece. If you picked up, I believe it was the um, the September uh, loot crate. If you're a loot crate subscriber and you got the September crate, which was uh, the theme was speed, you'll find that the centerpiece in that was a four and a half inch version Titan of uh, uh, the Cylon Raider, the scar form of the Cylon Raider. Um, and that was that essentially was a, a kind of us really announcing that the rest of it's on the way, you know. So um, awesome. we got great feedback about that piece, and the rest of it is coming. Um, everybody should have it. it. Should be in use. It should be in US retail by Q2 next year. So some sometime between April and June. But it's all approved. It's all done. It's on its way. Good. And Good. it looks awesome. It's great. Awesome. Um, so you mentioned a lot of stuff: comics, uh, books, the, the toys. Where can people buy all this stuff? Okay, in so in the US and in the UK yeah, so, and in overseas. So in the UK, undoubtedly the place to go is Forbidden Planet, the Forbidden Planet chain. Go to forbiddenplanet.com or go to the Forbidden Planet store that's in London. Uh, or go to forbiddenplanet.com and look up your local Forbidden Planet. That's where you can get them from. Yeah. And uh, then here in the US, uh, you can get them online from 7 6com That's all one word. Uh, that's a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, by the way, you know. 7 times 6 is 42. <laughs> and we've got my maths right. 7 times 6com all in script, not in letters, not in numbers. And then uh, you can get them from any 
entertainmentearth.com. But when it comes to retail stores, uh, you can get all our stuff at Hot Topic. They're a great partner for us. They also have all our apparel, all our Doctor Who apparel. They carry tons of that. And, they usually uh, have exclusive figures too from uh, you guys. Yeah, so, yeah. They're, 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 usually for every wave that they of ours that they take, they have an exclusive Hot Topic piece. They're a great partner for us. Um, there's Entertainment Earth. You can buy online from them. I might mention them before. Barnes and Noble. Um, FYE, Think Geek, all of these places carry our stuff and they're all wonderful partners for us and appreciate what we're doing. So that's all the places you can get stuff. Awesome, awesome. So I, I think that's about it. I, I know it's been crazy here. Thank you so much for taking the time to, hey, to yeah. talk to me today. Um, is there anything else you want to say to the, the fans? No, just, you just, you know, thank you so much for supporting us. We, yeah. we massively appreciate it. Myself and the whole team and uh, Dan, everybody appreciates it. You know, we thank really you. do. And uh, it's just great, you know, we, we, our fans are very interactive and we love that. And that great back and forth that we have with them, that, that's, that, that's the reason why we do what we do. You know, I'm a super fan and my team are super fans. But that dialogue with our fellow super fans, with our fellow lifelong believers, that's the, what fuels our business. And so, you know, I really appreciate the support and the love that we get from our US fans. It's amazing. You know, awesome. I, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. Thank you. Well, so, you know, before I go then, where can people give you that support? Your Twitter, online, oh, yeah, where's, yeah, where's yeah. all that? So, so basically on Twitter and on Instagram, you can go to us at titanmerch.com. And no, at titanmerch for Twitter and for Twitter and Instagram. You can go to titanmerchandise.com to our website. You go to our Titan Merchandise Facebook page. And, um, yeah, basically if you interact with us in any way, shape or form, you'll be interacting with St. James Watson from our head office in, uh, in London. He'll shortly be uh, doing some stuff, doing some regular pieces on YouTube, like yourself, Robert. You know, see, you know, a bunch of people interact with St. James already. He's a good guy, and uh, he's always he's your, he's often your link inside our business, and he's the guy that we're speaking to. Nice. <laughs> well, Andrew, I want to say thank you again. Hey, man, thank it's you. It's been a pleasure. I really appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the rest brother. of the con. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Same to you, brother. Thanks. Have a great time. Okay. Enjoy the last three or four hours yeah. with all this nutcase stuff. I know. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.